Hi, this is Gary. Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be looking at this package here. It's quite chunky. It comes in at 1.4 kilograms. So this has come to me all the way from Istanbul. It's a Galen leather package. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Now, why did I get this? And this is something I just want to address. So when I first got back into using fountain pens, my loving wife bought me this. This is here, and I used to use this. It's got my notepad in, it's got space for one pen. But I find that because I use multiple pens, it's a bit hard to carry them around. So what did I do? Well, after a while, I tripped myself to this. I got this off AliExpress. So in here, I can have multiple different pens. Can we see it? Yep. So there's some, and then here's the rest which is fine again. You know, it works really well. At the start of this year, well, that's when I got into this, the bullet journal. So this also goes with me. So when I'm going somewhere, I've got all three of those in my bag. And I will be honest, I like to keep my bag fairly small. It's literally just big enough for a 13 inch computer and maybe one of these. So what, I'm, what am I doing? Well, I'm carrying around three items every day in my bag it looks really messy because it's just bulking out. Now, yes, I could get another bag, but I don't really want a bigger bag. I like the convenience of that small one. I mean, I've had it, or I want to say I've had it going on for 15 years. It's really, really nice. It's really useful and it carries around what I need. Except now it doesn't because I've got all these little packages. So what I want to do is rationalize these down. And I, yes, I still want my bullet journal, so rather than having the two items which will have my notebooks in and my pens, I want to combine them into one. And that's where I saw this Galen leather product. So join me down on the mat, we'll unbox this, we'll take a look at it, and then we'll start filling it up with my pens and my notepads. So here we are down on the mat. Here's a parcel ready to go. Now, I have cheated a little bit. I've already cut it open so we can get into it a bit easier. It's nothing worse than watching someone just sitting there with a pair of scissors. So let's fetch this out. Let's check the bag, make sure to see if there's anything else in there. Nope. So that now goes out of the way. And we're upside down. So there we go. I just spin it over. So what have I got? And I've got this lovely popping film. Let's just pull this off easily. There we go. And we've got a number of things in here. So here they are coming out. So what have I got? First thing, we've got this little envelope. Let's take a quick look in here. I love this, it looks really nice. I mean, I'm saying envelope, it's not, it's a bag. So let's ease this out. This is gonna come in really useful just for putting little bits and bobs in my bag. So there we go, let's pop that to one side. So in here we've got instant Turkish coffee. I like my coffee, so I'm looking forward to trying that. What else have we got? We've got Earl Grey, again, I like my tea. I actually drink my tea black, so Earl Grey I think would be quite nice. And we've got an amber refreshing towel. Well, I've got to be a loving husband, so guess what? I'll give that one to the wife, then she's got something from this as well. Isn't that nice and loving of me? The last thing that was in there, the evil eye charm. So I'll have a good read through this later. And then I think that'll be attached to the portfolio when I get into that. So next thing I've got is this. So it's a cardboard box. It's fetching the scissors. I know it means you've got to now watch me playing with my scissors. Just ease into there. What do we, do we have here? We've got the Everyday Book. So this is a Tomai River book. So here, if you can see it, Tomai River paper, A5 size, 400 nup. So I got this because I thought, well, I've got to have something nice to go with the actual portfolio. And I thought, I might as well have some nice paper to go with it. Plus, it comes bundled with it. 
you know, so I thought, well, may as well add that in. Let's get everything going. Let's start everything, everything in this off really nice. So let's open this up. So the first thing we've got here, the gear and leather car brand of stationery is celebrated for quality and ingenuity. So this is a ni nice little pouch for it. So it slides out. Let's fetch everything out with it. So that is now empty. So I'll just pop that to one side. So what have we got? Well, this seems to be, uh, I would say it's a leather blotting sheet, which is really nice because I've just the other day received these, which is some paper blotters. But it'd be nice to use this leather one so everything's looking nice and all using that same leather material. Pop that to one side. Then we've got these. So let me put them one. Do you know, everything's upside down today. So these are some guidelines. So I've got for normal lined paper, I've got grid. And then if I flip it over, I've got wider lines on this one and a smaller grid on here. This is a brilliant idea because this can then go under the river, the Tomai River paper when I'm writing and give me some guides to help. So if we look very quickly here at the book, it's got a plain front, a black page, and then we're into this lovely Tomai River paper. I'm just going to open it anywhere and I'll slide one of those guides in and hopefully this comes out on the camera there you can see the guides through the paper that's going to be really useful because you get the cleanness of that plain sheet but you can keep your line straight and i've got to be honest i do struggle with keeping my line straight even when i'm using lined paper the paper itself i would say is a very pale cream color i say there's 400 sheets of it so that's going to go down really well we pop this all together We'll put that to one side because we'll be popping it inside this in a few minutes. So this is the main event. This is what we're here for. This is a handmade, genuine leather, burnished edges. Oh, and it apparently it's well aged. A bit like me then, really well aged. So let's open this up. Hopefully this will come off very easily. That reveals, look at this, this lovely green portfolio. Remember, I keep saying my favourite colour is green. So what can I do but get something that's green? Underneath it, we've got Noah's Ark Ancient Mysteries. Let me turn this over. Laugh as much as you breathe. Love as long as you live. Roomy. That's nice. And then, oh, that's even nicer. 10% off. I like myself 10% off codes. Let's move that out of the way. Now, we can't quite see the full length of this, so please bear me with me one second. I'll come back in a minute. I'm just going to change my camera position. So here we are with the adjusted camera position. If you can see how I'm sat, well, you'll be sat there laughing at me because I've got a sit-stand desk. I've got the desk now at the lowest it will go. My camera is in a tripod with a boom arm, the highest it can go. So this now fits in. But because the desk is so low, I don't fit under it at the moment. So I'm really balanced quite precariously here. I'd say it's quite witty to watch. Let's look at what we've got. So we've got this lovely green colour. That looks so nice. With the gale and leather band around it. Let's just take that off. Then we can really get into this. So what do we have? We've got this portfolio. At the bottom here, I've got my initials embossed. I thought, well, look, I'm having it done. It was free to have it added on. Let's get it put on there then. You know, it's them little personal touches which can make a lot of difference. Spinning over to the back, you can see some marking where that cardboard has been. Again, one of the beauties of leather is certainly as time goes on, I'll see more of this marking coming out. And as my oils from my hand get into it, it'll really start to age the leather really nicely. We've got here then Gale and Leather Co. Handmade. Let's open it up. Really nice, strong zip here. Really well put together. And then let me open this up. Let's see what we've got inside. So inside, we've got 
here saying, right, it's forest green. It was made on the 23rd of March. That's really interesting and nice to know when it was actually made. Again, it's these little details that they're including, which really make it different. Pop that to one side. First thing I'm going to pull out here is this. So this is for putting my pens in. So I've got room for four there. I'm hoping I'll get another two there. One of the things I'm going to have to look at is in my daily rotations, I usually have seven pens per month. Looks like there's only room here for six. So I think I'll have to change my daily rotations or if I'm going to stay with a seven, maybe have a couple of pens where I only use for two weeks each. That's something I'll look at as I go through. So yeah, here this for the pens, it's got, uh, I don't know, maybe that is leather on the back as well. So it's not going to stuff anything, it's nice and smooth. This goes into this bottom pocket. Then I've got here some things to put my cards. This pouch here seems to go the whole length. So if I have a, a rule that will fit in an A5 bag, it'll slide down there quite nicely and be kept out of the way. This wallet part comes up. Again here, not sure what I'll use this for. It might just sit there unused. But if you're not going to be using this for pens, or if you've got small pens here, you could definitely get something else down here. You know, I want to say, you know, a Pritt stick or something like that. We've got here a pocket underneath, so we've got plenty of room underneath here as well for storage. The other side, that comes away, so this is where my notebook will go. And then we've got this here, and here, that I'm assuming can go out there if you want to carry it. I won't ever be carrying it on a bag like that. But that's where I might put that evil eye tassel. So let's start loading this up. We'll start with this easy one, which is a notebook. So here's the back page. Pull them flaps up. And that slides in there nice and easily. There we go, all the way in. Let's just flatten that down. Right. Let's start looking at pens. I'm just going to start by popping in there to see how easy it is to put things in. So the pens that I'm using this month, well, my first one here, this is a Pilot Custom Heritage 92. The second pen is a Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. So it's the big pen and that fits in there really nice. Just reposition this. We want to see it, don't we? We don't want to see just the mat. Then, well, I've got a Platinum 3776 Century. I've got a Pilot Frontier. I have a Lamy Safari. So can you see here, because I want to make sure I've got room for the zip, it's already going down into this. Next, I've got a Twisby Diamond 580. Let's just put that clip over there. There we go. Then my final pen, as I say, because I usually have seven, which is this, it's only a tiny pen. It's by Fountain Pen Revolution and it's the Guru. I think it may fit in here. Can I lift that clip up a bit? Yeah, there we go. That looks like it just about fits in there. So as long as I don't have all big pens, I really think I might be able to still carry on using the seven pens. So that's good to know. So next I've got the guide paper and the blotting sheets. For now, I'm actually going to just put that in the front of the book, just so I know where it is. As I start using this and using it more often, I'll work out what goes where best. The final thing I'm going to put in here is this. So this is, I believe it's a B6 size notebook. It's got Tom Eye River paper in it. It's the 68 GSM. And what I use this for is when I do my pens and use videos, I use an Oxford notepad, but that's a B5 size and that's really large. It wouldn't fit in this even if I wanted to. So just so I've got it with my pens all the time, I've got this smaller notebook here using that Tom Eye River paper. And I also keep a list of the pens that I've got in here. And like you can see from March, when I change the ink in a pen, I can make notes in here to say that I've changed it. So that then will go in here as well. I think I'll try that in this pouch at the back. But again, this might change as I go through and start working out how best to use this. So the big question now, I've put everything in, does it close? Oh, 
helps if I use the right tassel, doesn't it? Here we go. There's the zip. Look at that. One unit. Everything in it that I need. And that one unit is going to be replacing this and this. And if we look at the width of these, let me put them side by side. It's about half the width. So I certainly think that's going to be a lot easier for using when I'm out and about. It's a lot more compact. Everything's in one place. So I no longer have to worry about not remembering everything because everything is in one place. Everything's together. So in there, I've got my pens. I've got my notepads. You know, I will put in my business cards and various other bits and pieces over the next few days. But yeah, this is it. This is my new everyday carry pack. This will be going with me everywhere. And as I go through, I'll be able to give a report back in a few weeks as to how it's going and any changes that I make. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit that thumbs up button, give it a like. Have you got one of these portfolios? Have you got something similar? What are your experiences with it? Are there any tips you can give me so I can get the most out of it without having a load of different things carried around in my bag? Please, if there is, drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart that conversation. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.